Behind me, there's uh, theater students working on the set of Wind in the Willows. Less than three weeks until we open, uh, so we have to have the set built first before we can work on lighting, before we can work on the technical side of things. So we've got to make sure that the stage, the stage is built and painted and ready to go. We all saluted as they marched along the road. Was it the king or General French? No, it was Mr. Toad. The queen and her ladies in waiting sat at the window and so. She cried, who was that handsome man? Normally I'm an actor, and a lot of the time I'm also the choreographer for our shows. Um, last year I did two shows, and this year I've done both of our shows so far, and we'll be doing all the choreography for Fiddler on the Roof as well. Wow, where do you begin? Uh, it's very intense. Uh, it requires a lot of work. Um, you have to have a lot of patience, uh, a lot of discipline. And in the end, you have to be able to be able to talk in a crowd, and that's that's pretty hard to do. But since I've been able to take broadcasting, it's not as hard as would it be for some new people. Motor cars are not a craze; they're the coming thing. Motor cars is progress. Motor cars is the future. Not for toads. Good morning, Mr. Parkinson. Good morning. Um, okay, so Mike Myers teaches primarily um, acting and theater history. Uh, he's a really goofy guy. If you ever get a chance to take a class with Mike Myers, I strongly suggest that. Well, talking to each other. Awesome. You are, yeah. but that doesn't mean you can't. You know. Well, I like the kids uh, in general, like being with them. I like seeing people figure out how acting works to, to make, make discoveries about acting. Take this down. This is... The last will and testament of Toad of Chippewa. We absolutely, we have so much fun in the theater. Um, it's a nice, nice break. People call it work, and I don't see it that way at all. At all. And I think a lot of my colleagues would agree with me there. Before every show, I, um, uh, the thing that really helps me is I say a prayer to my mom. And that's before every show. And then another thing I do is um, uh, before we get going with the show, I run over my lines before that scene. Say I'm on in a scene where I have no lines. You know, I'm still like, what are my movements here? And in this Wind in the Willows, I had a Cockney accent. And one thing with the Cockney accent, I had a lot of lines in with that accent. So one thing I really liked, wanted, as I went back into um, uh, the tool room backstage, and uh, I knew I had a good 10 minutes before I went on, and I ran through all of my lines in the Cockney accent out loud where no one could hear me. A great creature, like a thunderbolt. I had a cousin fall on the Grand National once. Same thing. There was a woman in a helmet, and she was riding a rainbow. And then a cloud of dust, and the sound of distant trumpets. And the caravan in the ditch. What caravan? Well, if, if students are conscientious and do a good job, when they leave here, they have an extremely thorough knowledge of all aspects of the theater. If they're acting students, they also know about technical theater. And if they're technical theater, they also know something about acting and they have the opportunity to be in eight shows in two years here, which is a lot of experience. Good morning, Reggie. On your way already, I see. What a lovely morning. I could eat a horse. Could you? I wouldn't say no to some toad in the hole. We've already eaten our breakfast. Where's mine? It's all eaten up. You are asleep. Well, that's quite selfish of you. Well, I have wanted to eat my words, and I am quite enjoying this. One thing that our director, Mike Myers, talks about is being an ensemble. And that's something the theater department here does really well as we get along with each other. I've now hit on the real thing. Sounding the witch, I want to devote the rest of my life. 